Hello and welcome to the WP Inventory Manager tutorial videos. In this video, we'll be covering the Advanced User Control extension. To install the plugin, simply navigate to Plugins over on the left in your WordPress dashboard, click Add New, Upload Plugin, and simply drag and drop the zip file downloaded from the WP Inventory Manager website into the box here. Click Install Now, Activate Plugin, Once the plugin is activated successfully, we'll navigate to the WP Inventory tab over on the menu. And we'll be prompted to enter our license key for the extension. Simply paste your license key in the box and click Save Settings. Now that our license key is validated, we'll see a new tab in the Settings section for Advanced User Control. The only setting in particular here is whether we want to send an email to specific item owners when their products are reserved. You can find the advanced user control over on the left hand menu. This is the screen where we can edit individual users permissions. We can also do that from their own user profiles in the admin user screen. But for here, right now we're running into an issue where the contributor level that John Doe is at does not have permissions to add or edit items, which we can fix by going to Edit Settings right here, clicking over to General, and in Permission Settings we see we have a minimum role to add or edit items. We'll set that all the way down to Subscriber since we'll be adding fine-tuned user controls through this plugin. Once we've hit Save Settings, we can navigate back to Advanced User. And from here, now we can give John Doe specific permissions, where we'll let him view all the inventory items, add inventory items, as well as edit only his own inventory items. Be sure to hit Save User Permissions. Now from here, if we sign out, and log in as Farmer John and navigate over to the WP Inventory Inventory Items. We're provided with a list of all the products and we can click in to view any of them. But if we try to make any edits to the product, we're not even provided with the option. However, since we've set permissions, we can also add inventory items. Now that we've added our own item, if we click into that and try to change something, we are allowed to since this item is owned by Farmer John. Back in the admin profile on the advanced user control page, we can see the extensive use of this advanced user control plugin. For instance, if we wanted only users to add inventory items but not be able to edit their own, if we wanted them to reach out to us so we could run quality control, or if there was some sensitive information within the inventory items and we only wanted people to view their own, or if we needed an assistant admin who could only edit items at our request. There are numerous possibilities for fine tuning user control with this plugin. Thank you for watching this WP Inventory Manager tutorial video. 
As usual, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us in the support tab in the WP Inventory Manager menu. Thank you.